What up? Uh, wrestling's on. Uh, what? Uh, AEW. Uh, R.I.P. Uh, Scott Hall, right? The original, the wrestler. I mean, yeah, they say Jake the Snake, but like Scott Hall. Oof. Ooh. Did you ever see that footage of Scott Hall showing up to like that like indie event and he like was like out of the hospital with like I think it was like liver failure or something like that and he couldn't stand up? That was that was rough. I feel like he's been in bad health for a long time. But I mean I feel like he like kind of uh, rebounded a bit, but I mean, like, I feel like he did so much damage to his body. Uh, there's, there's like a mini 30 for 30 about him or so, something like that. Uh, and it's, it's rough to watch. Uh, it's a sad lifestyle. The wrestler lifestyle. Actually sucks he was getting hip surgery and that was the reason for the sur oh whoa, okay. I think a lot of wrestlers are on the brink of death. Uh uh Wow, this is hilarious. Uh show me a wrestler who's done well. Not the rock. Um Cody? How about Cody? Cody started AEW. Mick Foley? Oof. Oof. Uh, I mean, like, Mick Foley, yeah, but, like, also, like, uh, he's had part of his ear ripped off. Hulk Hogan still, I like how you wrote that. Um, let's talk wrestling for a second. Uh, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is an animal. Uh, I think there's a lot of steroid use in wrestling uh, because they don't. It's not a sport. There's why would you care uh, unless you cared about the health of the people that were doing it, which clearly like these businesses do not. Uh, yeah, I don't like the auto, the auto buy white balance looks gross on this thing. Uh, it looks better the little. It always says it like too blue. Um, my mom was obsessed with ref wrestling and drop kicked her cousin at the family reunion. <laughs> Do you have it on foot like f film? Did was it out of anger or was it like I bet I could do this? Ooh, Nate Blackest, my brother, raiding with a party of seven. Doink died. A lot of wrestlers died. Some wrestlers died during WWE and they kept it a secret. Like what? Like who? Like in a live show? Dish. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, getting dark there. Total secret. Uh there were like ten in the and it was the eighties, okay. 
Um, I'm going to shut this window. It's so windy here in L.A. right now. Rey Mysterio accidentally 619'd that guy into heaven. Uh, Owen Hart. That's, uh, I mean, Nick Rock Lobster. Uh... My like one of my favorite stories from my friend Tony is that he saw that at a friend's house. He saw the pay per view where Owen Hart died, and his mom picked him up and she was like, "How was the sleepover?" And he was like, "A guy died," and she was like, "It's make believe. It's made up." And he's like, "No, mom, a guy died," and she wouldn't believe him and like was like convinced he didn't know that wrestling was fake and then eventually saw it on the news and <laughs> went and uh uh ap- apologized to him and just asked her and my mom wanted to clarify she just headbutted her f- for fun too oh that's good that's good uh i'll i'll tell you this uh so i used to Ooh, we got some a bit is dropping. We got a fart for the bits. Uh, I'm gonna put me put that on a different channel. This. All right, there we go. Oh yeah. What up, Sam heads? Just hanging out, getting into it. Woo! Um, I'm gonna start off, since it's the muscle show, talking about muscles. Talking about leg muscles. Uh, when you when you see me stand up, I always have a really wide stance because I'm trying to keep my pants up. I'm trying so hard not to show you guys my butt crack, and I'm sorry whenever that gets through. Um, let's talk about leg muscles here. Uh, so I made a calendar. See, so yeah, at the beginning of February. Let's see if you can see this here. Not really. The beginning of February, I train started my training for the half marathon. February 5th, started with a five mile run. Uh, and then moved, that was a Saturday, and I moved to four runs a week. Uh, every week I did a long run, so at five, the next week it went six. The next week it went eight, nine, uh, eleven. Actually, I ran the eleven by accident, and then I ran twelve last weekend. But the exciting thing with like last weekend is I hit uh, over a hundred miles. I hit a hundred and eleven miles on uh, last Saturday. Today I ran six miles, so now I'm at 121 miles. Uh, I can, I can just, I could this Saturday run a half marathon. I'm gonna do another 12 miler, and then I'm gonna basically run a half marathon for three weeks. I'm gonna do one uh, every Saturday until the 10th, which is when I'm supposed to like actually do my half marathon and run then and i'll tell you this don't forget booby tassels or keep the nip safe whilst running long distances uh you know when i've trained for the marathon i have done the the whole band-aid trick Ooh, toko 141 subbed um yeah, Gramps inspired me. Uh, when, when I... When I've run for the... I've done the whole Band-Aid thing. 
Uh, it's fine, but I mean, also the like you get this stuff called Runner's Glide. It's like really waxy deodorant, kind of that doesn't smell. Uh, and it's like for your thighs. It also works on your nipples. Uh, make sure all your poop is out before a long run. Uh, that's the other thing. It's funny that like everyone like that's the the marathon thing everyone's like oh you ran a marathon did you shit yourself it's like that has happened it doesn't happen every time and also there's porta potties there's porta potties all along the marathon if you're not like competing to win it it's definitely okay to stop and go poo I mean, just your body gets exhausted. Your body gets like, you know, like, and there's been stories of people and footage of people that have like shat themselves at the finish line. How do you contain your long Johnson and giant orbs from knocking into cars and pedestrians? I don't know. It's a problem. I am going to run a marathon next year, which is kind of crazy because uh, usually I'll be like, I'll run a marathon in four months and then I'm like training doing, you know, for this I, I did, a, I'm going to run a marathon in uh, two months, a half marathon in two months and it, the training, but like to be like, I'm going to do it next year. My plan is to like keep training throughout the year and I want to like do a a year of heavy running uh is it beneficial to wear the short the short runner shorts i when i'm skinnier i totally like those short running shorts uh it's like you're breezy you get you get the wind on your legs it's great uh it, I'm, I'm bigger now. The biggest concern for me is like not having to worry about my shorts falling down as I was talking about like with the, you know, getting up every time. So I tend to wear like bigger shorts and I just hike them all. I hike them up. I, I wear them like at my belly button and uh, the shorts, the brand of shorts I got right now are actually really good for that. Um, there are these Under Armour brands that I saw right up that said like they're good for big guys. Hey Sam, can you put the Bulls game in the background so I don't have to choose? Oh, oh, there's a there's a Celtics game, Celtics Warriors. It should be a good game. Suddenly the Celtics are looking great in our in. Out of nowhere, Jason Tatum is an MVP candidate. And uh, for the last couple weeks, had been averaging like 40 points a game or something crazy like that. Do they make runner suspenders? I don't think they do. I've, I've been wondering that. Uh, or like, I mean, they do make like singlets for track, right? Don't they? There's an Asian dude who runs around in just his underwear near downtown LA. Maybe he's training for the same mar marathon as you. Actually, uh, Celtics wear Dan Aykroyd and Daniel Stern. Those those guys were my inspiration for getting into the those those Boston boys. Um, the LA Marathon is, I think, this Sunday. And I'll say this again. When you get inconvenienced by a marathon, just remember all these people are raising money for charity. Like the, the entry fee to a marathon, to like a major marathon usually is partially a, uh, a charitable donation. So uh, it's, they're doing good. They're not just running, they're doing good. Uh, is my class for credits or just fun? They're for what we call SAM credits. Uh, which mean not much as far as any college kind of, you know, like 
getting your diploma or anything like that, but they do mean a lot to me. So they are for Sam credits, my classes. Uh, I wish your knees and shins good luck. Mine just die when I attempt to run at all. Now, this is another thing. Uh, so there's a lot of people who I talk to and I go, oh, I run. And they're like, oh, I can't run. I have bad knees. And I'm sure... I'm sure some of those people have bad knees. But also, when I run, my knees get sore. I always think of like running, and especially long distance running, as a sort of like maintenance game. It is, you know, like realizing, no, you didn't pan well, we're about to do the thing. We're just talking about running for a second. But uh, it is kind of a thing where it is like you have to like figure out like, all right, this isn't working properly on my body. How do I get that to work better? Like, oh, I, my knee feels a little weird, a little sore. I'm gonna, you know, like use some KT tape to hopefully assist it enough that it'll become as strong as the other knee and uh, I'm gonna take um, you know like anti-inflammation drugs before I go running you know like some ibuprofen before I go running so I don't you know necessarily like strain it more I don't know if that works but I mean you know it's icing and, and maintenance and stuff like that and so when I say I'm gonna train for a f solid year I don't know if I'm gonna like up and up and up my runs uh but i am gonna try and do longer runs from uh um oh riding a bike is is actually better for your joints and cardio fat burning yeah and you yeah, know it's riding a bike is definitely better for your knees uh i don't think running while it is like harder on your knees i, I don't think it's bad for your knees uh i think but that's what i'm saying uh is that you have to manage the wear it is like about like keeping your body in, in like the the ideal place you gotta wear, right, wear the right shoes use the right posture and you can run a bunch totally true and like if you if something is wrong you got to figure out why that shit's wrong so why do some people get the runs while running it's just your body gets fucking exhausted and i guess they can't control themselves and they're trying so hard to finish they you know, uh, any sexy Epsom bath stories? I did get a foot bath, and I was thinking about using it. You guys would have hated it because it's so fucking loud, but it is fun. Uh, Buff Boys, it's the Muscle Show. Isn't the Muscle Show good enough? Isn't that good enough for a show that where I'm talking about fitness? Uh, we can all agree that sitting is slowly killing us. Yes. You're right. Uh, you ever see Jackass bit where Rob shits his pants while sh speed running? Uh, I forget that. Do you wear a headband when you run? I used to. I wear a hat now. Like a running hat with a big brim. I also wear uh, open ear jawbone headphones uh, that have like they don't go over my ear, they go on the jawbone and they uh, vibrate the bone and so I can hear stuff around me. But I will say this, if this is a little thing for people who are runners here, are there any runners here? I usually, uh, I, I'm, yeah, Andy Mac. uh, I said, I thought you said not to listen to music. That's exactly what I was about to say. Uh, is I I have those headphones and I will listen to like books on tape. I will listen to podcasts. Uh, I 
try sometimes I'll listen to music but I'll only usually listen to music for like the shorter runs during the week and now I'm at this point where my long runs are so long they're you know like with like 12 miles that I just don't listen to music at all and it's good because it you know like listen to anything or don't listen to anything at all because listen to anything kind of like gives you a sense of time and if you're not listening to anything you can really just like zen out and it can go by much quicker and like not even like that it goes by quicker you just get into this groove you know you can listen to a single king gizzard song for a full marathon okay we're in a couple miles to work from Union Station. I recommend running and just hear the outside noise. You'd be surprised what's out there. Do you ever go, uh, I'll tell you where I run. Uh, so you're saying Union Station, or wait, is that Union Station LA or Union Station New York? I'll dox myself if I want to dox myself. If you want to catch me running and be like, Hey, I heard your thing. I tracked you down running. That's fine. Oh, you need station Toronto? Oh yeah, true. Uh, I have been doing runs. Uh, I've been running Griffith Park. And that's a really fun Saturday run. It's like, uh, you know, I when I was starting running Griffith Park, I would drive to the where the carousels are and run around it, run all the way up to like Burbank there. And now I've stretched it out by starting out in Frogtown and I'll run along the LA River get to Griffith Park and run up Griffith Park. Actually, this week I, I had a funny thing where it was like it was hot. I got a late start. It was uh, it was like noon. Noon. Uh, why does this keep changing? That's weird. Uh, it was noon so the sun was high and I was dying on the way in and I was like, oh man, on the way back, when I hit the LA River, it's gonna be like, it's just gonna be brutal because there's no shade. It's just like all like direct sun. And then I got there and just it turned out to be windy enough that it was like amazing. It felt great. Like, so. What I talk about when I talk about running is a memoir by Haruke Murakami. I haven't read any Murakami. I've heard a lot about his book. Uh, check out this book. I think it's a great book for people in a transition period. Ah. You should move to South Dakota and be cold with Timmy. No. All right. Let's get into these... I'm going to cut that. Uh, you guys want to get into some crosswords? You all know what time it is? Uh, time for crosswords. Uh, thank you, Fut. I love I love doing these crosswords because it is like really, it feels really interactive, you know? And then we're going to do some... We're going to basically do the show we did last week. I'm sorry. It's uh, Smelly Mob. Thanks for coming out for your first time. Um, let's see. I barely... I, I started this one today, but I was like, oh, this is tough. So I think almost every... There's like two of these answers that I think might be right, but... Uh, let's see. Okay. Hold on. Let me just do...
All right, how's that? Everyone can see everything. This is great. All right, so veal parmigiana. Does that seem right? Ice, I think it's right. Rocks in a tumbler. Okay. Um, this is swing era. I think. And then laceless shoes, loafers, maybe. Okay. So any of those could be wrong. There's, oh, this is something I noticed about this puzzle as like the little trick. It has duck in it a bunch. R U B B E R. Is this rubber duck? So this might not be loafers. But that maybe that would be rubber ducky. Uh, Thirty nine down is dicks. Are you tricking me or used as a dining surface? Pan wall. Molds are an example of 27 down. Cred. Let's see here. Let's see. Street. Ah, that is. That is cred. All right, let's play. Let's, let's do this. Total disarray. Cacophony. Uh, clutter. Uh, chaos. Fucking A. Panini, sweetie. Chaos. All right. Uh, attachment for a bit. Uh, attachment for a bit. Yeah, drill. But drill wouldn't fit. Uh, when you get down, air. What to call a man in uh, Everyone's saying drill. There's not even enough spaces for drill. A ream? A ream is it? Alright, I'm gonna try ream because multiple people said ream. Uh, but maybe it's E. Like cheese puffs and rice cakes. Arrow? Air. Okay. I... Print oopsies errors. Butterfly called a common tiger or wanderer. Monarch? So airy. Oh, it's, it's rain, rain, rain. Yeah, mon arc would be that, but this is air. It's not print oops, oopsies, it's print oopses. Errant? Alright, try it. Dry... Dry rot, okay. Uh... Errata. What is errata? This is the thing I love about crosswords is, is uh... You can learn something. Used as a dining service. Surface. Errors, okay.
Oh, monarch is spelt. Okay. So we were right? Okay. I think I think that is all right. In direct confrontation, total odds. Toe to toe. I like that. Let me see. Twenty four is Myers. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. Uh, that's how you spell Myers. That's funny. You want to cross Eli. Oh, yeah, Eli Whitney. What's a Leighton? I guess a duck. Wait, no, that's not enough. Twenty five across Peking, twenty five across. Where's twenty five? Oh, I like that. Peking duck. Uh, forty seven down Alamo. Totally correct. Seven cross goose, I bet, right? Yeah. Um, Forty five across holds. Six six cross sty. I, I'm like not able to catch up with you guys. Sty. Uh, 55 cross Psy. Mm -hmm. I could have gotten that if I saw it, but yeah. I don't know. 59 across. Or 59 down, egg. Uh, what, are this, what are some of these? Uh, the duck ver mammoth? Is that how you spell mammoth? Mm, amigo. Duck. Dodge. Skittish. Timid. Fine, stay angry then. Be mad. Ah, uh, bath toy. Uh, forty nine down. Sis and das. Sis and das. Yeses? Oh, C's and Da's. I like that. Uh, editor. Forgot I wrote that. Five down is solo. Let's see. 
with 56 flabbergast or gobsmacked. Four down is holy. Like it. Oz. What was once in a Someone tell me what once in a while where that went. I was doing crosswords yesterday and Clue was tic tac toe mark. Oh, 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 wow. 52 across. Oh. Wait. Chance of a lifetime, say. One shot? Yeah, I guess it's your one shot. Uh, editors forgot I wrote that shit. Uh. Oh yeah, negative space duck. I like that. Swiss author of Elements of Algebra. Uh, Abel's? Bugs and Daffy, the Iceman. Ducketh. Memo, subject, header. 50 could be zap. All right, I'm gonna put Abel's as it's ghost Abel's. Uh, shit my uh, conjure for one. Euler? And then is this in re? Duo. Room fixture at peg. Shoot down. Lightning strike, zap, people were saying. Zap. Scene of pandemonium. Zo. Zoo. I guess, yeah, shoot down. Attic? Hat? Sh should that be an A? Is it possible his name is Aller? D. 
duck swoop down. Squat down. 53 down is debt. Stood down. At deg. Stoop down. I guess stoop down works, yeah. All right, that's a little weird, but okay. Uh, opening on Christmas Eve. Uh, my mouth. Because uh, of the food. The second R in J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, it's riveting, right? 34, 35 down, send. I like that. It's an R bomb. <laughs> uh, eight down is harm. Uh all right uh what a flat b palm facing a nearby fellow in American sign language Bro, I don't know, because LB, what's going to be LB? Ruel Tok? Twelve down. So wait, it's oh harm. Ah. Thank you. Duck. Uh, strategically evasive. Eleven down is Insta. Pick sharing app informally. Oh yeah. So wait. So that was serious that it was Ruel. So that's not peaking. Ru, huh? No, a guy named Ru. Prepare to proof in baking. Need? Uh, yeah. All right, duck. <laughs> Loafers might be wrong. 
I'm gonna put loafers. I'm gonna pencil in loafers. Duck, uh... Slippers? S-L-I-P-P-E-R. It's gonna be, it's gonna be plural, because it does say shoes. Ooh, Donald. I like Donald. Good eye. Donald. Can you hear all that shit going crazy outside? What the fuck is going on? Alright, uh... It could be a problem issue. Uh, linen. And... Duck. Is shirk slip on Z. Sick, sick. It's not flip flopped. There's not enough letters. Uh, heavenly prefix perpetual. Something loop. Actual non-stop. Uh, good one, guys. Be in a mood and brood. Sulk. S or just like in Ethiopia. Listener. Abbreviation. on Christmas. Thirty crosses. Heavenly proof of urino? At uh, all. Yeah, I was thinking that big snarl. Tampa Bay a pro. Uh, there's the lightning, there's the bucks. There's the rays. It's... We're on. Uh, it's a dare. Big snarl. First. Oh, maybe it's, it's a date. It's a date. Examine I. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I think that is I. Treasure is seven down. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, 
rat's nest. Did someone say that? Yeah, uh... Who's? Opening on Christmas Eve, twos? Oh, twas. Tana. Hand out for a walking tour. Something map. Area map? Uh, henceforth, I never nth yet to the nth degree. Um, wait. Mind, all mind. Twenty is S L Y. Sly. Okay. Molds are an example of. Oh, take cover. That should have an exclamation point. Decays. Yeah, you guys were. Words of a leave taking. Rise units abbreviation lots peace peace apartments apps a and avoid <laughs> guys we did it we did it it only takes over a hundred people to complete a Wednesday or Wednesday crossword puzzle. It feels good though, right? Like it feels good. We did it together. We did something together. Uh, feels great. All right, let's shift gears. Let's let's get this monkey off my back. Uh, thank you, Panini, sweetie. You're such a sweetie.